Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. I am here enjoying a sunset out my front window on the Hypermind Vanilla server and today we are inside the house. Last week we were outside the house working on the landscaping and this week we are going to be working on some of the interior design. Now the results are in and just to give you a heads up, for those that might not enjoy it, just remember that democracy is two wolves and a sheep deciding what's for dinner. So the results are in and, well, you said, let's do multiple episodes. And so that's what we're going to be doing. I will try and put the results on the screen right about now through the magic of video editing. And there you go. And I don't have the numbers right offhand, but uh, it was something like four to one, somewhere in that range. So we are going to be doing multiple episodes, so we've got multiple rooms we've got to work through, and we'll try and get these done as quick as possible. And each each time, we're not going to spend as much on the front end talking about it. So, first things first, we are going to be focusing our attention on the, the main room. This was the main room that I talked about in the overall design, that I really wanted this quartz box. And... What we're going to be putting in here is a dining room. Now, I have done the work for this off camera in my creative testing world, so we're going to be working through that, but I do want to just work through the thought process a little bit, just share that with you, and then uh, once we're done with this room, we'll see if we have time we can get to the kitchen back here. So I'm just going to work on through the night. Prezi is on, but I believe he is, oh, he's not currently AFK, he's been trying to gather some Wither Skeleton Skulls, but um, yeah, so it's not a problem to just go up and sleep, because we do have the one bed sleep system, but I'm not going to worry about it, we should be fairly safe, I've got the area outside worked, or uh, lit up, so first things first, we need to get rid of torches, okay, that's one of the, ooh, scary noises, mm. okay, so, I don't want torches. If torches are in the build by the end of this whole thing, then we have failed. Okay, so we're going to first start by putting in some light sources, and we'll take these guys out just so we know what we're working with. And here in the corner, I am going to be putting in our overall light sources. We're going to hide a few in the corner, like so and so and so. And then what we're going to do is dress that up a little bit. If you were not aware, the cauldron is actually a transparent block. So it allows light levels through. And we're going to just fill this up with some water. I put an infinite water source. We're not going to have water in the house. It's just we are doing this little trick. And I will show you what we're going to be doing with this real quick. And at this point, we are done with the cauldron. So I can put those away. And we will be getting up the, uh, yeah, the, what is it, uh, chairs. So that's what we're going to be working on after this. But uh, we're going to go a little bit further on these. It doesn't look so cool to have the cauldron right here. So we're going to bring some foliage in. And I think uh, I think that's a, that's a good height. We can even vary it. We don't have to go go all the way up. But there we go. Okay, so that's the foliage. We don't quite have the center area complete in terms of lighting, but we are going to be putting in our table. So uh, the next thing we need to do is put in some chairs. And so what we're going to do is that, that, that. Is that right? No, that's not right. Move it a little bit further back because our table is going to be big enough for uh, a decent meal to be served at. So we're going to do that. And there we go. That's that's our chairs. We're going to be working off of that. And then right here in the middle, we'll put the uh, pillar on which the table will sit. And then we're going to bring the table out like this. It's going to be a five by three table. And, oh, we don't want that to happen. Yeah, we don't want the pillar to show. And so there we go. We've got the table laid out. And then on the table, we're going to be, oh no, we're not quite done. Let's get the chairs finished. So we'll do this. We'll put a little back on the chair. I've seen others put down iron trap doors simply because the hinge isn't visible. But I like the look of the spruce. And again, we're going to be trying to use spruce 
wood in this build because we are in a spruce forest. Okay, so there we go. That is the back of the chairs. And then we'll just go through here like so. And we'll come back around with a little decorative element. And almost done with the arms on the chairs. And then we can get rid of our item frames and the doors and the stone slabs. We're going to put a little bit of a button in here like this. Maybe we'll turn it to the side. What do you think? Gives a little visual interest. There we go. And uh, if you're wondering why I am jumping so high, it's because we've got the jump boost beacon going. And you can see the little potion particles from that. And not just that. It's uh, a lot of other stuff too. So yeah, there we go. We should have the chairs all finished and there we go. So we've got armchairs and then what we're going to do, we can get rid of that and that. And then we'll bring in the decorative pieces like so. And the AC is going. It's still fairly warm where I am. So we do get the AC on occasion. We're going to put in a little chandelier section here. We'll bring it down from the ceiling, just separate it a little bit, and then we'll bring in some sea lanterns. That's going to be our visible lighting of choice. And uh, then we'll go through, and we're going to put some plates down at each spot. And then a little centerpiece here, we need to fill that in with some water bottles. And then everybody needs a cup, right? A little bit of a cup. It's, it's, not, it's not dinner without something to drink and so that is the dining room and let me know what you think about the foliage so now we've got the dining room done we're going to turn our attention to the kitchen but the stuff that's in my inventory is not quite what we need so I'm going to just stop for a little bit get my inventory straightened out and then we'll get to the kitchen so I will see you in just a moment Welcome back, and I should have all of my inventory straightened out, but what we need to do first and foremost is bring up my screenshot. I put that away. There we go. We're going to be working on the kitchen, as I said, and remember what we said about torches? We need to get rid of them, but first things first, we need to come back in with this quartz and... Does that show over here? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. All right. And what that's going to do is going to give us our ceiling. Yes, that's right. We need a little bit of a ceiling here. And uh, we're going to come back around like so. I should have done this already, but oh well. And we really need to do that all around the first floor here. But this is just to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing long term. And can you hear the uh, people in the background? We've got, I live on a, on a main thoroughfare around, uh, around the city in which I live. And we get people that have really large pickup trucks and they like to show off apparently. And they drive around and uh, I can hear them through the walls. And so I'm not sure if that comes through on the recording or not. Hopefully, it doesn't cause too much of a distraction. And I'm not sure if that's as far out as we need to go. We will see as we start building this thing. Okay, so let's get rid of that torch. And we're going to be focusing right here. Okay, so let's see right here and here. And then we'll have to go underneath the house a little later just to make sure that our... Um, decorations up here aren't poking through but uh, it shouldn't be a problem we're actually going to pull out all of that and you will see why in just a moment but let's get out some of the materials we're going to need and we'll do that as well okay so we're going to put our sink right here and so we're going to use that trick again with the cauldron all right and, uh, and then over on on this corner we're going to do the same thing let's pick up that little spruce slab and cauldron there as well we're gonna put some water in there and then uh, we're gonna wait a little bit to get the correct measurements we've got another cauldron slash plant going in there but one of our sinks we're going to say is full okay and we're done with that we're done with the cauldrons for now let's bring in some 
faucets. Okay, so we got some faucets, and then what we're going to do is put a little shelving unit up top and bring this down as well, and just carry that across. And then over here, we're going to not use these slabs. You ever notice that sometimes maybe my mouse is just a little oversensitive and it switches the uh, the item I'm selecting. More scary noises. I guess there's a, a cave or something below here. That's getting kind of annoying. And then down below our spot right there, we're going to put a little storage, hidden storage. I might put a piece of glowstone or something under that chest. You can't really see it, but we're going to do the same thing right there. Okay. Uh, do I have any glowstone? Let's see. Any glowstone in here? No, no glowstone. Okay, I can come back a little later. Can't really see it, especially once we do this. And then, oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of the stairs. We're going to do this and this. And then we'll throw in a little bit more. So we can come along. We've got a little bit of storage here. It's harder to do a little bit. I wonder if we can put it on the bottom part. Yes, okay. That makes things a little easier. Yes, so that's what we're going to do. We'll put it on the bottom. Get out of the way there. Oh, and I forgot the foliage right there. All right. And then screenshot show. Wait, that's enough. That's enough sea lanterns right there. Okay, so next up, what we need to do is put those away. And we're going to put a little bit of a countertop like so, and that's our sink area, okay? So pretty simple, and yeah, that's not not too bad, and don't have much room for, for anything else, but uh, what we're gonna do now is turn our attention to the refrigerator area. So what we'll do is just bring in some cyan stained clay, like so, and then we need to get up here and here Oh, that's going to be very helpful. We're done with the cyan stained clay. We're going to bring in a couple of levers. And come on. Yep, we're going to set them like so because we're going to put some iron trap doors. Oh, okay. So they're currently butted. And uh, let's see if, if this will work. There we go. And... There we go. Okay, so they were butted, and if they had received a redstone tick, they would have done that, but um, there we go. We took care of it as it is. Now what we're going to do is pop this out, and then we're going to do a little bit more. This isn't as hidden of storage. We'll do that, and then we'll bring in some slabs. That's going to be on not that level. That, that, and that. And then up here, though you can't really use that for storage. We're going to get rid of that and then bring back in the spruce logs. And th what this is going to do is give me access now to let me know where I need to put my other cauldron or cauldron plant. So we'll do that. We're done with the cauldrons. We're going to get some more water and we've got the sun going down again. Let's just go take a look at that. Yeah, I think this was the right choice. This is a great view. See, if we had been facing that way, it would have been mountain, which is nice enough, but I think this gives a better view. And the AC is back on. Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm going to bring in some water. It's always good to have water around, and we're going to put in the foliage right there. And So that's our refrigerator and a little bit of a storage area. And so what we need to do now is get in the cooktop and what that is going to do or require is right here. And I hope that I get the, the area correct. We're going to be coming two off of here. Yep. And then what we will do is put chests here. And then we've got to bring in some trap chests like so. And then right down here, it doesn't matter. I can just put this back in. And then this is going to be our stove area. We'll just drop those on top. And we'll make what look like burners. Like so. And then we're going to bring in some countertops. 
And this is where I have to get a little, a little creative. Nope, not like, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So we'll get rid of that one. And same deal there, same deal there. And there we go, Bob's your uncle. We now have a countertop area, okay? And we can still access the storage down below. And so what we're gonna do is just come around again like we learned already. If we need to access the chest area, it's a lot easier like so. Get rid of the torch. And we should be good on the light levels with all of the lamps or sea lanterns that we have in place. And then we need to just dress this up a bit, bring in some more countertop right there like that. Oh, server restart in 10 minutes. So, uh, I forgot one detail on the refrigerator. So we'll just put some buttons there. They don't actually do anything, but uh, just a little bit of a decoration. And then what we need to do is we need a... Yeah, that's not good. We'll, we'll do like that for now and come in like so, then take these out. Oh yeah, I've got haste. Yeah. And make sure not to hit those weighted pressure plates. All right. And that is our range hood. And we've got a little stove area. It's all well and good. And then what we're going to do is focus on a little bit of an island slash entertainment area. And so again, we're going to come out too. And we're going to take this out. And this is where jump boost really shows its use and that's gonna be what five total is that right how's that gonna go like so we can jump in like that let's check to see if we've got a better screenshot here how's that one looking okay okay sorry for this but uh, yeah this is the problem with working from a screenshot okay so we're good, we're good. All right, what we're gonna do now is bring in a little bit of some of these stairs here. And is that, what, one, two, three? We didn't really need to get rid of that floorboard right there. We'll do this, and no, no, not gonna do that, because that doesn't look so good. We should be fine on on our uh, stairs there birch stairs uh, let's talk about the that a little bit real quick okay um, I'm choosing to use birch for the um, the furniture if you will because I want something a little bit different it, yeah we're using um, we're using the spruce right for for our overall uh, overall wood choice right but uh, we do need a little bit of a differentiation so I chose birch because it contrasts really well with the rest of the wood choice in our kitchen and uh, so that's why we're doing birch wood and so what you're gonna see throughout this build not just these two rooms but the other rooms that we do is uh, we're using birch wood all right so next up, once again, we're going to bring in those weighted pressure plates, and then we're going to put a little bit of a, a, uh, a bar area right here. And that's it for this side, but check this out. Check this out. What we're going to do, we're going to pop this out, this out, and this out. And do I have enough of the levers? Yes, I should. So what we need to do is put, um, we're going to have to come around here and here. Why? Why are we doing this? Well, um, and I still need some spruce wood. Where, 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 where are you? Okay. And under here, here, and here, we're going to put some sea lanterns oh, why are you doing that soap you will see in just a moment what we need to do now 
Uh, no. Is this a silk touch? Oh, it's not silk touch. I don't have a silk touch on me. We'll have to come back through and get that in just a moment. But we're going to do this, this. Oh, and I did it all wrong. Oh, guys, I need to go grab a silk touch pick. And then we will get back and take care of the rest of this bar area. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Prezi just joined. The server just had to restart. It restarts a couple times every day just to clear out the memory, I guess. And he is probably going to be continuing to AFK at the Wither Skeleton Farm. But, um, yeah, anyway, I've got my Silk Touch pick. You can see that it's had better days. And uh, what we're going to do now is try and get this correct. So we're going to put a light source here. And in case you didn't know, extended pistons are actually transparent. And so that's what we're going to be kind of doing here. So what we do, hopefully I can grab these. We're going to put a solid block right here between them. And then we'll drop down here, put a lever, cover our tracks again. And there we go. Same same bat deal, same bat time. And then we'll drop down here, put another lever in here so we can extend that piston. And we're going to just cover that up. Now we've got pistons as our bar stools. Of course, it's not really the most realistic, but hey, we're going with um, minimal attention to detail, somewhat semi-realistic, but again, we're not actually going to be using this. We're not even going to sit down here to dinner. We just, you know, chomp, chomp, chomp. Of course, I haven't been moving around too much in decorating this, so I don't need to eat. But uh, but yeah, there we go. So you can also see that I have put in some light sources above our work area. Now, just to tell you the importance of this, I didn't realize how useful good lighting was in the kitchen until we got to the new house. The previous house that we were in, you heard, some of you heard about that move. Uh, we had some subpar lighting in our kitchen and at the new place. It's a lot better and we can see a lot better. It's great. A lot more powerful lights and whatnot in there. But uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. We're at the end of our time today. Let me just tell you a little bit about what to expect for the coming weeks. Now, I am not going to sit here and give you all of these episodes back to back. Okay, so we're going to be splitting this up with some other projects, but I am probably going to batch record in here while I'm at it, while I've got all these materials here. I'm just going to get it done and uh, it'll probably be like two, maybe two more episodes total. We'll see. But uh, they're going to be interspersed with some other projects, and that's just to give you an idea of what's coming. But, uh, but there we go. So what do you think? Let me know what you think about the, the dining room and the kitchen. Is there anything else you would add? Anything you would... Uh, like to share about your own particular interior design, let me know. Tweet tweet some screenshots to me. I'd love to see what you're working on and uh, try, out, try your hand at some interior design. I'd love to see it. So uh, anyway, that has been another installment of Family Friendly Gaming with Soap the Great. Again, if I'm not comfortable sharing it with my kids, I'm not going to share it with you. So hopefully you've enjoyed. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.